What are the attributes of this shape? Welcome to Mr. Sanchez and his man. Today we're going to be talking about the TIC 5.5a classified two-dimensional figures. Specifically, we're going to be talking about the attributes of two-dimensional figures. This is the lesson one out of five. So whenever we talk about the attributes, we know that this shape is a two-dimensional figure, is a polygon, and according to the size that are the line segments that form the boundary of a two-dimensional figure, we have here a side from A to B, and we're gonna name it this way with a little line segment on the top. We also have BC, and we're gonna name it the same way, CV, and also DA. So that means that it has four sides. It's a quadrilateral, right? So now let's talk about the vertices. That is, these are the points or the corners where two sides of a two-dimensional figure meet. So with that being said, I have here how many corners or how many points? I have four points. That means four vertices. Now, let's talk about the angles. These are two rays with a common endpoint. The common endpoint is the vertex. So, of course, if it has four sides, that means that it will have four vertices and it will have four angles. But I want to talk first about the type of angles that we have. The first one is the right angle. That is an angle formed by perpendicular lines that measures exactly 90. Which one of these measures exactly 90? A, B, C, or D? Yes, we have A and also we have B. Those are right angles. Now let's talk about an obtuse angle. This is an angle that measures greater than 90, but less than 180. Which one would that be? Yes, angle B. And the last one is an acute angle. It's an angle that measures less than 90 degrees. Which one would that be? Yes, angle C. With that being said, yes, this shape has four angles. Now let's go with the next portion, which is gonna be the parallel sides. These are sides that lie in the same plane, never intersect, and are always the same distance apart. AD, BC, DC, or AB are parallel. Well, we have that AB is parallel with DC. However, AD is not parallel with DC. So the only parallel sides that we have are these. Look, the little two lines on the middle means that they are parallel, right? Now that means that I have only one pair of parallel sides. That means that this, this shape is a trapezoid. Trapezoid, I'm sorry. So perpendicular sides are sides that intersect at right angles to each other to form square corners. As you can tell, AD and AB, those make a right angle. That means that I have AD is perpendicular to AB. Also, if you see AD and DC, they are also perpendicular. That means that I have what? I have two pairs of perpendicular sides. Now let's talk about the next one. They were congruent of equal measure having exactly the same size and same shape. So sides could be congruent and also angles could be congruent. Answer a question for me, please. Do we have any sides congruent here that they look the same shape or the same size? No, we don't, but we do have congruent angles. A and D, they look pretty much the same because they are the same, they are right angles, both of them. So that means that angle A is congruent with angle Two angles are congruent. Let's show time. What are the attributes of this shape? We know that it's a two-dimensional figure that is also a polygon. That if we talk about the sides, it has three sides. That means that it's a triangle. Because it has three sides, it's because it has also three vertices. Then we're gonna be talking about our friends, the angles. So it has three angles. Two of the angles, A and B, are congruent. And one pair of perpendicular sides. That means AC is perpendicular with CB. Now you know the attributes of a two-dimensional figure. Thank you very much, guys. This was Mr. Sanchez and his man. Today we were talking about 5.5a classified two-dimensional figures, specifically talking about the attributes of two-dimensional figures. So thank you very much. This was the lesson one out of five.
Before you leave, remember to take some notes. Have a good one, guys.